So have a simple do list, keep it in a book, keep it in your phone, whatever you want it to be, double prioritized, and a simple journal, even if you use a nice ambigram one that keeps you on track and makes you reflect. Now, how else are we going to grab time and make absolutely certain that we're using it to the full? Let me give you some ideas. Number one, I think you should establish uninterrupted time. Now, if this means putting a note on your desk, it means wearing a red hat so nobody interrupts you, it means closing and locking your office door, who knows what it is. But if you can get uninterrupted time, you maintain momentum. Imagine this. I don't know if you play tennis or you play golf or any other sport where you're taking your arm back to hit something. Now, if that was tennis, for example, you take the tennis racket back and imagine it got to that point and your phone went off and you went, oh, hang on a second, let me answer my phone. Hello, yes, no, I'm sorry, I'm in the middle of a tennis game. I'd put that back. Could you start there and, and hit the ball? No, of course you couldn't. You'd have to go all the way back to the beginning and take the stroke again because you'd need to build up momentum. It's the same with your mind. Establish uninterrupted time so you can maintain momentum on the tasks in hand.